Hey there, everyone. Over the last few weeks, we've been doing some some podcasts and videos about a, a couple weeks ago, we did one that was 10 tips for new preppers. Last week, we did one that was uh, most likely disaster scenarios. And all of this kind of got me to thinking about what preparedness is in general uh, and, and how we should kind of approach it. In my opinion, it's, it should be somewhat of a lifestyle and it should be something we're constantly working at getting better at. It constantly trying to be more self-reliant, as, as self-reliant as we possibly can, and not depending on the grocery store to be there. So we need a loaf of bread or something, just hop to the grocery store. Not depending on the, the lights to just flip, flip a switch and all of a sudden the lights are on. There's a lot of different scenarios where those could become non-existent. And our whole goal is to be as self-reliant as possible and be able to handle situations like that. If I, I have a well pump here, so getting water, say it's just an economic collapse, we don't have the money and, and the lights get shut off, uh, the power gets shut off. How am I gonna get that water up from the ground? It's things like that that we as preppers think about. It's not the, you know, when you watch shows like Doomsday Preppers or anything like that, a lot of the times you'll hear them say, I'm preparing for this or I'm preparing for that. And what I hear when they say that is, I'm not prepared for this and I'm not prepared for that because it needs to be well-rounded, uh, a well-rounded approach. And I think at its core, when I, when I talk to people that are just getting into preparedness or that are interested, say I've got friends that say, hey, what is this all about? It's not, you know, I don't pull out my, my gas mask and start talking about nuclear wars or anything like that. It's about being able to, you know, not have to worry about having food on the table for a week or two, a, a month or two. Uh, it's not having to worry about where am I gonna get water. It's not, it's having to, you know, not worry about things like, you know, my security and all that. It's, it's at its core, it's living like they lived in the past and not having to depend on the government, not having to depend on the grocery store being there, all of that stuff. Um, the disasters are kind of like a, a next level type thing. Once you get uh, your, your general preparedness down as much as you possibly can anyway, then you start focusing on those other things a little bit more. Uh, if you're focused on your general preparedness, your food, water, and shelter, and all that, the stuff that will get you by in any number of different situations, you're inevitably inevitably getting more prepared for, uh, or you're, you're getting a head start, I, I suppose, on some of those bigger scenarios. And you can kind of work towards those later on. So it's not, it's not always about the big disasters. While we can't ignore those, they are important, it's more about being self-reliant. Uh, when you think about some of the things preppers of the past had to consider, it's even 20 years ago, uh, they weren't, I don't want to say they were wrong, they weren't wrong. Uh, a lot of these situations that they had talked about 20 years ago are, are getting closer and closer, it seems like to me. When you think about an economic collapse, they were worried about that. And that was back when, you know, say 20, 30 years ago, the national debt was in the billions of dollars, and now it's in the trillions of dollars. I mean, it's just huge, and it's, it's, it's so close. It seems to me anyway, it's so close that it, it can't be ignored. And they talked about preparing and, and you know, their, their futures, their children's futures and all that. And now I'm worried about the same thing, except it really could uh, the, the chances of something happening in my children's lifetime and my lifetime are, are really high. So uh, nuclear wars, the weapons, the technology have all become bigger over the last 20 years. And we even have terrorists now, Ter the face of terrorism basically has changed where uh, terrorists used to hijack airplanes. That's not happening anymore. Now they're blowing up buildings. Now they're going shooting up nightclubs. Now they're on our soil and they're, they're brainwashing people and poisoning minds. So, uh, and it's only gonna change in the future too. So. Some of the threats remain the same. Some of them are bigger threats and there's newer threats that we need to think about. But at its core, my whole point with this video is at its core, uh, prepping is about becoming more self-reliant and doing the things we can. Uh, if a number of different situations happen, we can be ready for those. It's about learning the skills, which could be the most important part about it because honestly, we don't know what could happen. There are things that are more likely to happen uh, and things that are less likely to happen, but we just don't know on a daily basis. Anything can happen, and anything usually does, and we, our whole point of preparedness is to be ready for, it, for anything that we possibly can, even if it's on a small scale. So uh, that's my whole point with this video, is just preparedness is not about preparing for one thing or another. We do need to think about these bigger disasters, but being prepared is about becoming as self-reliant 
as we possibly can and becoming as knowledgeable about all of this stuff as we possibly can. So if you've got any comments, I'd love to hear them. Leave the comment below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, and that's it today. We'll talk to everybody later.